Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode. You need what? Customer loses install media. How to invalidate your service contract in two easy steps, the sequel. WFH laptops devastated by users. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. You need what? Customer loses install media. This is another tale from a while ago. My company had sold a computer system to a military base about four hours driving from my main base. No problem, I didn't have to visit often, maybe once or twice a year. Then the customer needed the system relocated into a different building, your tax dollars at work. I had to make a visit to inspect the new building, estimate the cost for moving, all that jazz. Anyway, I managed this project, and we got paid a lot to do it so everyone was happy. Then something happened. Several months after we did the relocation the system, System V Unix running a very small mini computer died. Our help desk folks we able to figure out it was probably the hard drive, only one in this system, so they called me, we all figured out when I could get there, a replacement drive was shipped, all good. I had an extensive conversation with the customer that we'd need their backup tapes, duh, plus the OS tape that came with the system, along with some extra tapes that had additional packages that we required. I was assured they had everything. They even had a safe that they kept all the tapes in. I got up early next day and did the four-hour drive, got to the new building, unboxed the new drive, and had it installed in less than an hour. Hardware was not the most repair-friendly design. I then asked the customer for the tapes, they hand me a stack of their application backups. Okay, we'll need those later, where are tapes with the OS, the ones that came with the system? Blank stairs. They checked the safe, not there. They had not unpacked all the boxes from moving into the new building, so they start tearing into these. I call the help desk, is there anything we can do? Nope, need the tapes. Customer spends a couple of hours digging through boxes, calling people who are not there and asking them, bickering about whose job it was to pack things up. I'm kind of stuck, the disk installed is raw, no way to boot at all except off a tape, no floppy or optical on this system, your choice of SCSI devices only, which you can select during the post. Finally the customer throws up their hands, they have no idea where the tapes are. I'm on the phone with the support folks, what do we do? Make them buy a new set? How long will that take? My support buddy finally just says he'll make a copy from tapes he has in the office, he knows which ones I need. We don't know if we're allowed to do this, but we're in a jam. I find out where the nearest airport is, a city an hour away. He'll copy the tapes and get them on a plane to me. I tell the customer what the deal is, they are really grateful, hop in my car and drive to the airport, find the air freight office, package has not arrived. I take a seat and read a book. At last, the plane lands, they hand me my package, I rip it open and confirm I have tapes. My support buddy, great guy, has come through. Back in my car and race back to the base. Boot off the OS tape, hooray it works. Have to actually partition the drive, entering various geometry factors, then format it, then install the OS. It works. Reboot off the disk, all good, install optional software from the other tapes, various sysgen, and reboots required. Finally, reinstall my company's application files, plus customer's database. Now it's way too late to drive home. Spent the night in a motel and headed home the next day after checking in with the customer. All good. I don't know what we did about replacing the tapes, I didn't have to deal with that. I'm guessing we just let them keep the copies. How to invalidate your service contract in two easy steps, the sequel. Hey TFTS, once again it's me, Jackal Feed. I work in the petrol industry, maintaining and supporting gas stations with everything from their point of sales, at pump card readers, back office servers, and more. This is my third post, and you can read my first here, and second here. This is a spiritual sequel as in it has nothing to do with the previous story, but the result is the same. It's a nice and slow day, 
My site has a clutch of new hires on the job so our usual constant flow of calls is a little more relaxed, I've spent the day mostly on Reddit, tbh. I'm doom scrolling through some news posts when the call comes in. Callers a low-level cashier at one of our on-site contracted sites for hashtag major petrol company hashtag. On-site means that if I can't fix the issue over the phone, we dispatch a tech. It's a pricey and yearly contracted service that only like 15% of our sites have, as opposed to a la carte calling a tech when needed which can cost upwards of $2,000 per visit. After opening up the site's account and making sure I knew what equipment they had, I start getting more information as to what happened. Their register had frozen and the touch screen wasn't responsive. Usually this is just a let's log into it and see what percentage of the HDD is full slash check the utilized RAM slash reboot problem, but the cashier decided to go all Rambo. The register has a side panel used for diagnostics, it has a status message, a soft and hard reboot button, some diagnostic switches, etc. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, the hard reset button is recessed, the soft reset button is visible, easily pressed. But like I said Rambo. The hard reset button is only for directed use under specific circumstances because it has a 5-20% to chance of bricking the point of sale machine if used in the wrong status. I should also note that the panel that's open there is closed by a Phillips head screw and has to be manually opened, so it has to be intentionally accessed. They probably knew of it from previous calls with us where we often have them open the panel to give us the POS status message. The cashier jabs a pen into the hard reset, and when it does nothing, unplugs the power, waits 5 seconds, and plugs it back in. At this point, the POS screen is black, the status light is off completely, and the heartbeat is a solid red. That's when he calls us. I let him know that there's a good chance this isn't going to be fixable without potentially reloading or maybe even replacing the unit, but I'll do what I can. I have him unplug the POS it has a graceful shutdown process with a battery so unplugging it for 5 seconds does nothing. We keep it off for about 6 to 7 minutes, and it doesn't come back up when plugged back in. I shoot a team's message to AT3 with an update and he proclaims it bricked. I clarify the hard reset is considered attempted self-repair, and he affirms this. That means not only is the POS dead, we're not going to dispatch a tech to fix it, because they've invalidated their own service agreement. I try to explain this to the cashier, but he doesn't get it. Somehow he had the acumen to open a diagnostic panel, try to hard reboot, and then unplug and replug the POS, and mind you we have those little Chinese finger trap style locks on the DC power connector where you have to push in before pulling out, but not the basic understanding to get my explanation that his contract is invalidated. In the end, I created a case in their account and gave him the case hashtag to have his manager call in and get the explanation. The POS? Just another brick in the wall. WFH laptops devastated by users. This is part tale of woe, part help desk request, part discussion about devices that are used primarily WFH. I had a user call in about a few keys on their laptop not working so well. Dollar user is user, dollar sr is me. Dollar user, hey, how's it going? I've noticed a few of the keys on my keyboard don't always work shift, and a few of the letters on the left, specifically. Dollar SR, alright, is this on an external keyboard, or the one on the laptop? Dollar user, the one on the laptop I've restarted a few times, it's still not working well. I remote connect, update some drivers, even flash to a previous restore point it's the same issue, making me think it's something hardware related. I ask them to bring their laptop in for a swap, and so that I can replace the keyboard. As soon as the user leaves, after testing the new computer, I pull the old one out and it is disgusting. I do not say that lightly, it made me nauseous just to look at. This laptop was covered in grease, food particles, dandruff, and ash. Every possible crevice on and around the trackpad and keys was packed with detritus. My only regret was not getting a picture, I hosed this thing down so that I could stop gagging. I've seen this a lot more now that people are WFH, devices come in either gross or totally filthy, 
because they don't have to worry about co-workers seeing them commute on a device covered in grime. It's messed up. The sickest thing to me is that the user never mentioned the state of this computer when troubleshooting. And I'm still trying to clean it so that we can reuse it. It's less than a year old.